Hello, welcome back to another day in the arena, kinda a very different kind of day in the arena. I'm making a video to tell you guys how much I make. We're gonna go over how much money I make from Twitch and how much money I make from YouTube. I've been interested in making this video for a while because I think a lot of people underestimate the power of the YouTube audience. We see a lot of streamers putting a ton of time into YouTube and I, I said YouTube. I actually mean it the other way. We see a lot of streamers putting a ton of time into Twitch. We're talking six to eight hour streams. And when I talk to them about YouTube, I often get a lot of resistance, like there isn't time for YouTube. Like, uh, how, does YouTube really work? Does it really pay off? Does it really matter? So I'm excited to share some of that today, but the reason I'm doing this today, quite honestly, is I got kind of prodded by a leak that happened at Twitch. Uh, it was on Twitter, it's now a thing on Reddit, so let's get right into it. The Twitch got hacked, and the earnings of streamers got leaked. So this is from Reddit, and it shows uh, yearly income and income from 819 through 821, like a gross income for Twitch streamers. And uh, this is from, of course, the MT, the Magic Arena Reddit. So I made the list. Uh, that's pretty cool. It says that my income from August of 2019 until October of 2021 is $70,518.50, all of this in US dollars, and that my yearly income is $32,547. And I thought that the interest level in this was pretty stunning as a lot of people are reacting and responding to magic content creators and how much they earn from Twitch and whether or not they make a decent living. It's not often that people talk about this. I've been thinking about making this video for a long time. One, because of the absolute grossly holy cow difference between Twitch and YouTube in, on so many fronts. And two, um, because honestly, I felt like I have a secret and it's hard to figure out like how to share it. Talking about money is weird. A lot of people think it's a very personal thing. Um, and a lot of people also have a fear that if they talk about money, people will leave their Patreon, not renew their subs, do like that. If they find out that they're doing well. And, uh, I have all of those fears too. And it's definitely not comfortable. I think it's a thing in America that we're very worried about, but on a day like today, where at least part of that puzzle, the Twitch puzzle, has been leaked and people can see it and talk about it as much as they want to, I figure why not share the whole story. So first we're going to go into Twitch. This is my behind the, behind the dashboardy thing on Twitch. This is what you get. And we're gonna talk about revenue on Twitch. So this is like the last 30 days, $2,919. Definitely a, a point in my life uh, for sure would have been really, really thrilled with this number. As it is, we'll get to why I'm actually considering stepping away from Twitch um, because of how this compares to YouTube. So when looking down the line, uh, we've got paid subs. These are people who put down their $4.99 or in September, a little bit less, and it's $770 for a 30-day period. Prime subs, $1,230. This is honestly one of the main reasons I stay on Twitch. Prime subs, people get a free Amazon Prime subscription if they own Amazon Prime for their household. So they can come over and they can use their Prime sub or their Prime gaming sub to subscribe to the channel for free and I still get paid as though it were a real sub. That is basically free Amazon money. That isn't money exchanging from the customer to me most people have Prime anyway and use it for other things. That is basically money going from Amazon to me and all that the person had to do, all that the viewer had to do is a little bit of clicking and work to create a Twitch account, link it to their Amazon account and hit that subscribe button every 30 days. And that's really cool. I, I appreciate this very much. Gifted subs are a cool feature of Twitch where somebody can gift subs to others and that's uh, kind of like large donations. Thank you to everybody who gifts subs. It helps build a really cool community. $789 there. And then we get down to ads and you're gonna see Ads, ads here versus ads on YouTube are two totally different numbers. This is $89.64 for a 30-day period. And believe it or not, that's 
pretty high compared to where I was like a year ago or so in ads as the viewership has thankfully been going up. And uh, yeah, I remember when I got my first number for ads, it was something like 30 bucks. And that was when I was streaming a lot more. That's when I streamed four days a week uh, during points last year. Right now, I'm only streaming about two days a week. I pretty much show up on uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays, and I air those, like, I, I do about two to three hours of streaming. So I'm definitely not a dedicated full-time streamer at this point. It's a very part-time adventure. From when I streamed four days a week, I learned that this is kind of where I wanted to be with streaming. I wanted to keep it fun as an extra thing, not the main income source, because I think that the monetization, quite honestly, is pretty tough. You can also tell when you look at that Reddit thread, if that's the sorting by how much streamers earn, only like the very top streamers are earning a decent annual income and they need so many viewers to do it. It's kind of amazing that I see myself on that list because there are a lot of streamers who put in a lot more hours than me and for them not to hit that list, I, I, I kind of feel for them for the amount of time that they're spending to try to make ends meet on Twitch. Twitch is a very challenging platform and it's very much a you're live or you don't get action. YouTube's very different. All right, we're going to go look at my YouTube numbers. Honestly, it feels <laughs> Ooh, it I don't know, my stomach like my heart is beating fast. I haven't been like nervous in front of a crowd i haven't been nervous when putting on a show in a very long time i've got butterflies doing this video and a lot of it is that i hope my supporters uh will continue supporting me but i've always said this and i'll come back to it again and again watching the channel and you're gonna see why is supporting the channel watching the channel is supporting the channel and if you need your money to do other things and you'd rather not be a youtube member or a patron i totally understand I respect it. It'll be fine. Watching the content supports the content, and I plan to keep making content. All right, let's go to the latest. Let's go straight to the Covert Go Blue dashboard. Yep, this might be a little hard to read. Don't worry, we're going to get a larger blow up here in a second. So uh, let's see, bring it here. We'll go over here. Let's start right at the top. We got our subscribers. We got a nine out of 10. Ooh, today's video not doing too good. Hopefully this one will help pick it up a little bit. And then we got views, 2.7 million over the last 28 days. Watch time of 918,000 hours. And the estimated revenue, yep, uh, you can blow that up or you can zoom right in. 28 days says $30,028. Let's go to the bigger analytics though. Let's let's get the nice bigger graphics on here so that you guys can really take a look and see. So 28 days, uh, we've got 2.7 million views, the numbers that we talked about, and we're gonna blow it up. We're gonna go to some of the larger numbers, but first let's scroll down a little, see a little bit more of what's going on uh, over here on the revenue tab. So. Um, RPM and CPM are important metrics on YouTube. I think if you want to learn more about how to maximize these, you really should search for them. Like how to get better CPMs, how to get better RPMs. Are, there are very good videos out there on the subject and you want to look into it. Monetizing across YouTube is not universal. Some channels with similar sub counts and views earn more and less than others. I will say that gaming is a heck of a space to be in as we look over the last 28 days. Let's go check out monthly estimated revenue. We've got May 26,000, June 30,000, July 30,000, August 29,000, September 32,000. A month coming in. Um, yeah, when when things started trending in this direction, this number started going up really fast. It blew my mind. I remember the first time I hit 10,000. Um, actually, I remember the first time I hit 1,000 when I think about it. But basically, every metric I've hit along the way as the channel has grown, I've said to myself, it can't keep going up. Like, this has to be the top. But it just doesn't it, it, it seems to keep going, but I seem to have stabilized quite a bit in the 30,000 range, which is, I think no matter where you live, I, I think even in San Francisco, you'd call it a pretty good number. And when we look at the sources, revenue sources, $25,754.86 are ads. YouTube premium. YouTube premium revenue comes from people who own YouTube premium, like I do, who watch ad-free. 
So it pays me a percentage even when you have YouTube Premium. And then there's transaction revenue. That for me is going to be all YouTube memberships. $4.99 a month gets my viewers a look at my deck list a day early through a special Discord channel, and they can watch my stream VODs posted privately. So yeah, there's transaction breakdown right there. So buy a mile ads. Let's just, for a quick moment, let's talk about that Twitch again. $89 is what I made in 30 days from Twitch ads. YouTube, $25,755 from ads. Yeah, I know there's a lot of ads in the videos. I, I get that comment a lot. There's a lot of hitting skip. Some people, you know, do ad block or things like that. Um, <laughs> I can promise you uh, that the money I've made from YouTube I try to be a responsible user of, and I don't want to go too much into my personal philosophy for money, but one thing for sure that I had to take care of, uh, unfortunately, another business venture where I was not as responsible, got myself into a lot of debt and was really grateful that I got to pay it off in December of last year. So this year has been very much a fix up the house kind of thing, as we live in a pretty old house that's never had any work done. <laughs> so thank you. Um, that's one thing I can't do this without saying is thank you so much to everybody who's actually watched it, all you guys who watch the videos. You blow my mind. And again, I was really nervous to share this. So let's go into time. Um, let's look at the last 365 days or uh, the last year. So if we wanted to make this an annual number going for the last 365 days, 283,537 and 97 cents. It, I, I, yeah. I never thought for a moment that this would be my life. And if I, if I go through like lifetime on YouTube since the beginning, the trend has been dramatic. Uh, you can see I, like when I, I didn't use my channel too much back here, but like I started posting videos back here or I got monetized back here. The explosion over the last year has been insane. So if we do like a, a custom search and we just try to go like the last couple of years let's do october 10th since 20 say 18 and apply this it's just been it's been a stock chart you would love to follow and then whatever started happening like about a year ago in september of 2021 uh we pretty much like everything pretty much exploded up from there but uh as you can see i tell people they got to get into youtube like you've got to get into youtube it's the the power of the ad based platform and the way that they feed ads just seems to do so much more than twitch and i'm not an expert on it there are a lot of cool videos you can watch i recommend videos uh from devin nash and alpha gaming that really helped me improve as a youtuber and also just watching people who you want to emulate who you feel like similar like that's the kind of content i want to make and then on top of that i also challenge myself to watch really large youtubers who make content nothing like magic the gathering content to learn what really works for the platform but um yeah i'm starting to just ramble and it just feels uncomfortable because there's a lot of things i feel like i should say to try to explain for this the main thing I want to say is thank you to all the fans and uh, a sincere, sincere thank you to everybody who's given me watch time and to anybody thinking about YouTube or Twitch. I think you can see now why my heart and my soul and anytime I give advice, I say I'm a YouTuber like this, like you want to be on YouTube. I think that's what I, now you now you know why. All right, this has been uncomfortable. It still feels uncomfortable, and it's gonna be an uncomfortable sign off. But that's that's why I'm YouTube till I die, man. So thank you for watching this video. As always, I will see you in the next video. You're cool.